Okay. All right, YouTube. Uh, this is your boy, Rob Coleman. I'm sitting here uh, in my little man cave. As you can see, all my stuff is around me. And I'm reflecting on uh, rap, okay? Let me, let, me, let me just say that this year has been a 50-year history, you know, 50-year anniversary of rap. And uh, earlier this year, there was a lot of controversy over the uh, top 50 rappers of all time list that came out. Um, and as you may or may not know, uh, there was a lot of uh, rappers that people had like disagreements as far as like who should be on the list, who shouldn't be on the list, who was rated too high, who was, you know, not high enough and all of that stuff. And I had some uh, visual emotions about it at first. And was like, you know what, we're talking about different eras, different, you know, taste and what people like in rap and, you know, different uh, decades. And, you know, it, it's impossible to look at, you know, 50 rappers over five decades and pick, you know, the top 50 and say, well, these guys are the top 50 because taste change. Right. And um, what people uh, see about rap change. But here's here's my complaint. OK. I am a big fan of like late 80s, 90s rap, right? You know, Wu-Tang and Scarface, all, all of the, you know, 90s rappers. And one of my favorites, one of the guys that I know is going to deliver every time I buy an album or hear a song is Redman. You know, Redman is my cat. Um, if you are old school head like me, you probably uh, love Redman too. Um, he's always funny, always on point. Um, he don't rap about craziness and, uh, you know, he's just a, he's just a really cool rapper to listen to. Now here's, uh, why I wanted to make this video. Okay. Because as I was looking at the top 10 list and like I said, it's, 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 you know, subjective because across all decades and all of that stuff. But as I was looking at the top 10 list, you'll notice here that red man is all the way down at 42. 42, as far as uh, the top 50 greatest rappers of all time. Now, once again, I know the list is subjective and, you know, people could say what they want to say. And here's your top 10 here, you know, um, you know, and you and we could debate or talk about these, but you got your Jay-Z and Kendrick, Nas, Tupac, Eminem, Notorious Big. Now, here's my problem. Lil Wayne. OK, Little Wayne at number seven, Drake at number eight. I have a huge problem with because I am not a Drake fan at all. Um, I like I like Snoop at 10 and, you know, the top 20. Yeah, some of these I don't really have a problem with. Some of these guys should be higher. Some of them may be a little bit lower. But this this is the one problem I have now. I'm, I'm not. Uh, you may have saw my uh, previous video where uh, Nas and Lil Wayne made a, a song together and everybody was saying that Lil Wayne blew Nas out the water. But Lil Wayne uses a, a, a rap technique that he uses in basically all of his songs where, you know, he kind of takes a, a word uh, that sounds like something and just finds 15 or 20 different combinations of other words that kind of rhyme with that. You know, he's not a super skilled lyricist, as I'm sure you all will agree, um, but he is clever. You know, some of the stuff is cute. He's clever, but uh, his material is just really limited. He's not um, going to talk about anything deeper than going to the parties or, or or screwing women or whatever. You know what I mean? So so here's my problem. OK, now. Even the fans lightweight agree, and I'm going to prove that to you here in a second. OK. Uh, even the fans lightweight agree, because if you look at and, and the site I like to go to is all music. All music is like a great site to go to to like just look up albums and stuff like that. Find out discographies for people. If you go to uh, Lil Wayne's um, discography on all music. OK. Um, what you're going to see is that in Lil Wayne's discography, uh, even. Um, the fans agree that some of his albums are ne not necessarily the best. Okay. Uh, here's his uh, discography here. I'm going to uh, put this up on the screen for you. Um, if you, if you look at his albums, like when you start at the very beginning, you got his first album block is hot 
you know, uh, 1989 or 1999. Um, and you see the all music rating and the user rating. Now, this is what's important to me, the user rating. These are fans that uh, listen to the album or are fans of Lil Wayne and rated the album. OK, so two and a half stars, three stars for his next album, Lights Out. 500 degrees, three stars. Now, he really hit his stride with the Carter albums, right? Uh, Carter one, uh, three and a half. Carter two, which everybody's, you know, pretty much um, uniformly believes is like maybe his best album, best work. You know, solid four stars, not a five, but solid four stars, four and a half stars from the all music rating. Uh, and then as he gets into later albums, you know, got a, you got a four star here and you got a three and a half star here. And as we look at a decade of Lil Wayne making music from 1999 to 2009, you got some mediocre stuff here. Three Stars is kind of a mediocre album. It's not bad, but it's not great. And you got just maybe a couple of classics. Now, he had made a, a ton of albums after that, right? He still has uh, a lot more music on this list, but it doesn't get much better. A lot of three stars here, a lot of two, even some twos and stuff like that. So not too much better. Now, is that the discography of a person that should be ranked number seven on the top 10 rappers of all time? The top 10 rappers of all time, he's ranked number seven. <laughs> and that's his discography. Now, let me show you uh, Redman's discography, okay? Now, remember, Redman is ranked number 47 <laughs> or 40, uh, 42, uh, here's uh, Redman's discography, and once again, we're going to compare a decade. Here's Redman's. So, in Redman's discography, his first album, 1992, What the Album. This is absolutely a classic album, in my opinion, right? And the all music and fans agree this is damn near a five star album, four and a half stars. And then after that, Dare is a Dark Side. Dare is a Dark Side is an amazing album. I don't know why All Music only gave it a three stars, but that is definitely another classic. And then Muddy Waters, another classic. Doctor Name, another classic. Blackout, you know, with uh, Method Man, another classic. And from 1992 to 2001, basically, this is his decade, all pretty much classic albums. And even after that, we're looking at uh, three and a half, four, three and a half, three and a half. So we're looking at good albums like this man's entire career, right? He does not make bad albums, but yet and still on, on the list, Lil Wayne is ranked number seven. Redman is ranked number 42, 42. <laughs> now, is that the discography? It, comparing just the discographies, should Redman be ranked number 42? Now, I don't know everything that goes into uh, the ranking, right? Maybe they're considering collaborations because Lil Wayne has done a crap load of collaborations with top name artists. Maybe they're considering, you know, popularity, cultural influence, because Lil Wayne probably is more well known about the younger generation than, um, uh, you know, Redman, you know, uh, most People under 30 probably are not too familiar with Redman's discography, but will probably tell you all about Lil Wayne. I want to show you uh, proof uh, that Lil Wayne, that uh, uh, Redman should not be slept on. OK, and this is the whole reason I made this video, because um, this this man is just a freaking rap genius. OK, um, he recently posted, you know, where he's essentially Jack and beats, right? Like he's putting his spin on classic beats across hip hop and uh, hip hop history. And I want to share this with you guys because this is absolutely freaking amazing. I mean, I've always thought, well, Red Man was a very skilled rapper um, and very cool as far as like, you know, his delivery and funny and all of that stuff. But let's like really just dig into his skills because this man is an absolute beast. Listen to a few uh, a few seconds of this. Yo, Chris Brown, your bus. 
fucked you. I thought I was gonna jack you too. Hey, hey, yes, sir. Hey, 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 you hey, crazy, hey. nigga. Let's go. Yeah, yeah you see a nigga pippin' in the tail. All my chicks give me bread, give me bread, give me bread. I'm a real sharpshooter with the pin. You're a doula. I really gotta get rocked like Ben Grimbo. Yeah, nigga feeling kind of cocky. Yeah. I alone from a hell and on the broccoli. Yeah. Never fold when you put me in a hot seat. Woo. Big bro, turn a rapper in a chop beat. Anytime a nigga rap, I got a quotable. You better let him know I'm not a portable, but I'm affordable. My mic portable. Raising the bars on a totem pole. Chicks with big tits. I hit the cannabis and leave me slipping in the mannequin. Never scared playing solitaire while you panicking. Call me the Pope, tell weed in the Vatican. No shenanigans. Let me show you how to win. <laughs> and I put off on the city, never drinking on a Hemi. I ain't fucking up a Kimmy Dynamite like Jimmy. Give you more like Demi Cobra shot, nigga. People give me pigs for the pennies. Huh. This a movie, nigga. I should win an Emmy. Got the okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I I am not sure that maybe three or four of the rappers in that top 50 or the top 10 list could do that. <laughs> All right. Drake can't do that. You know, now don't get me wrong. You know, everybody loved Drake and uh, I, that's a whole, that's a subject for a whole nother video, but he can't do that. <laughs> Lil Wayne can't do that. I mean, I, I would like to see Wayne try and, and maybe I'm underestimating him. But I haven't heard all of Lil Wayne stuff, but, Red Man is just a rap god. I mean, you know what? Listen to this Lottie little bit of this. Woo! Got a mighty party. Yeah. Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. You know what the beat is? La da da I act a little rowdy. And when I'm in the biz, I whip like Ricky Bobby. Cause we're just the men that's down to fight. I hit him with an upper cup, hook left it then. Right. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay. So you get the idea. Rare man is like, you know, jacking all these classic beats and putting his spin on them. Let's just do one more. I wake up ready to make paper. I'm yelling from the staircase like Eddie. Yo, good morning, my neighbors. Yo, you ain't getting food. You yell out, fuck you, bad man. And I'm like, yes, fuck you too. <laughs> Fans to the flow, make them want to hit the gym. Yeah. I started out a bus, now I'm stacking on my ends. Streets saying red is back. I never left. These bars, I stand behind, so I call collect. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I don't, I don't know if you're a red man fan or not, but there's no way... <laughs> This man is 42 on the top 50 rappers of all time. There is no way this man is 42. He's at least top 30. He's at least top 30. Okay, I don't want to get uh, too emotional, too hyped about this, but Red Man is absolutely one of my favorite rappers. I think if you're a rap fan, he's probably one of your favorite rappers too. And putting him uh 42 on a list of uh top 50 rappers of all time is absolutely disrespectful is absolutely disrespectful i mean i i know it sounds like i'm hating on wayne or whatever um and i know he means a lot to you know um this generation or maybe you know maybe the generation right before uh, right after mine or whatever not you know get your paper you know what i'm saying but when we're talking about rap artists in my in my opinion a rap artist, the top hip hop artist of all time, uh, it's not money. It's not how many magazines you've been on. It's not even really how many records you sold. Can you, at the core of hip hop, entertain with your rap songs? Right? If is what you're doing, you know, inspirational or creative or 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 you know clever you know like what are you doing with your rap songs are you are you you know just making a bunch of a uh, uh, a slop just to kind of put stuff out there and just basically feed the fans or are you actually you know putting some skin in the game and putting yourself out there to be creative and to and to make something mind bending and important and and meaningful to hip hop i mean i feel like uh every time red man touched the mic he does and certain rappers and that's ahead of him on a top uh, 50 list absolutely don't. So once again, I'm giving Red Man his flowers. Uh, I love his whole discography. I probably have all of those albums, you know, uh, uh, I don't, you know, buy a ton of, of, of albums or CDs anymore, but uh, I have all of his, you know, uh, work. So um, if you're not a fan of Red Man, go pick something up. Um, check him out, especially those first three or four albums. Um, you will not be disappointed, and hopefully, you'll be a new uh, fan of uh, Red Man and give him his flowers too. Let's get him a little bit higher on the list next time they do a top 50 rappers list. Thank you guys for listening.